Hello there, darling. Future Faye here. Now, it is not my norm for me to come in from the future to address you in the beginning of the video, but honey, I got something I need to talk to y'all about before y'all clock me on it. Okay, so in the video, y'all will see why I'm wearing a wig for Mother's Day, but what y'all didn't see is I was working on literally like two hours sleep because my baby had killed me up. And y'all know when sleep deprivation comes bad decisions. And honey, speaking of bad decisions, the way in which I apply this wig. I watched this footage back and was like, girl, you went outside like that? Yes, I did, but it was because I was tired, y'all. I wasn't thinking right, I wasn't seeing right, and it just, it just, it just wasn't, okay? It was just like a whole bunch of vibes and bad decisions. So when y'all see this, please don't judge me. I'm a new mom, I ain't got no sleep. I ain't making right decisions, y'all, please. So I wanted to get that out of the way. Like, it was literally that bag. I tried to edit it out as much as I could, but honey, I just got to face the fact. I jacked this install up. But what I did not jack up is the partnership that I do have in this video. Y'all see how I slid that thing on and now she's slack. No, but seriously, I I am partnering with someone on this video that I think is an amazing, amazing product. And I think that you'll love it too. And there is Bloomin'. Shout out to Bloomin' for sponsoring this portion of today's video because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations, donations, gifts. So if you're not familiar with the power of Bloomin', let me go ahead and get you hips. So y'all know I had a beautiful baby boy about two months ago, but last year when I found I was pregnant, actually a little bit before, I started focusing on really limiting my exposure to toxic ingredients. Y'all know on Instagram, I have regularly in my stories talked about using aluminum free deodorant. I've even changed the way I use my feminine hygiene products because at this point it's not just impacting me, it's impacting my baby as well. And you know, we got to keep the little thing healthy. We got to keep him going. And that is where Blue Link comes in. They have amazing kits. They have a hand soap a multi-purpose cleanser they also have a bathroom cleanser and then on top of that they do have a window or glass cleaner i should say i know y'all outside this summer we've been trapped for a little while y'all trying to get out but before you go go ahead and clean your house and that's what blue Lynn is here to help you do now with blue Lynn and their beautiful kits they focus on four things that i think are really really important to me and will be to you as well number one effectiveness because of course if you're paying for something you want it to work number two speaking of paying for something they focus on affordability. They average out to about $2 per tablet. And number three, convenience. You know, try to help your life be a little bit better. And number four, being sourced from clean ingredients. Now, speaking of ingredients, let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit and how the Blue Link Kit works. So you get these really, really trendy sheet bottles. Fill them with warm to hot water and then you add the Blue Link tab and allow the tablet to dissolve. And then you go ahead and do what you need to do, whether it's to wash your hands with the foam and hand soap or the cleansers, you go ahead and do those things. Now, with these particular products, they focus on making sure there are no single use plastics in any component. The products are vegan and cruelty free. Even in the cleaning products, you don't have to worry about ammonia, chlorine, bleach, or parabens and they are EPA certified. So with that being said, if you are interested in trying Blue Link for yourself, for your family, for your household, I promise you, I absolutely love it and I believe that you will too. Click the link in my description box to be able to save 20% off your first order and have a pleasurable cleaning experience just like I did. I promise you, everything was effective. My house smelled good, like literally, I love it. And the fact that I'm not exposing my baby to toxicity just because I wanna clean up my house, I absolutely love it. So shout out to Blue Link for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Let me show you how mine went down. Peace. Hello there, darling. Twas the night before Mother's Day and I look a mess. So it is currently, what time is it? Can y'all see that? No, yeah, okay. It is 12.38 in the morning and I'm just now starting to get myself together for a long day tomorrow. Y'all, listen, when I tell you nothing went as planned today, I ain't complaining, but I ain't getting nothing done that I wanted to. So, of course, this is my very first Mother's Day. I was blessed to give birth to a beautiful baby boy two months ago. Um, and so, this is my first time to celebrate too. And so, I was really looking forward to doing some things for myself. But when I tell you the spirit of tired crept up on me. Oh, and speaking of tired, if you hear me talking a little low, it's because the baby boy is sleeping right now. And if I got to jump out and get him, I need to, you know, be able to hear him. So anyway, the spirit of tired creeped up on me something vicious. And so, while I was supposed to go do a bunch of maintenance stuff, I wanted to buy myself a new dress to wear, like everything that I wanted to do. I couldn't do it because I ain't had no strength because honey, I was tired. 
So I listened to my body, which is something that I'm learning to do. And I was just like, yeah, we're going to get some sleep. I gave my husband my baby. He was like, I love y'all get out. And that's what they did. And I took some time to just sleep. And I thank God that I did. Because when I tell you, I woke up feeling so much better. But what ended up happening is we unexpectedly had some family stuff to do. Well, let me just say this. It wasn't unexpected on my husband's end. He knew. He just ain't tell me to the last minute. So I put my little agenda on hold and I went and kicked it with family, which I'm so glad we did. Um, we, I don't really get out of the house much because you know, mommy to a newborn, still pandemic, blah, blah, blah. So the opportunities that I get to go out and then be in a safe place, I jump on them. So we was able to kick it with family. My father-in-law threw some steaks on the grill. They was fire. And yeah, we just kind of like laughed and talked and kicked it and watched the basketball game. But now here it is. 1240, my hair ain't done, my face look a mess, blah, blah, blah. I got to get myself Shout out, I just bought this phone, about to tear it up. But anyway, I got to get myself together. And so I could, of course, do strip lashes tomorrow, which I, I, listen, I have learned to be honest with myself. When it comes to strip lashes, sometimes I put them on and they are A plus, like, mwah. Other times I put them joints on and they kind of got a little gangster lane. And so I said, you know what? The thing I know I know to do perfectly is individual. So if you ever want to get the eyelash extension look from home, like you can't go out and have somebody put it on, or maybe you're dealing with some financial stuff, get the Ardell brand from Sally. Their individuals are amazing. I'll link them down below. Um, and then I also have their dark adhesive. I don't like the white look. So I'm going to go ahead and do these lashes. And preferably they don't take me all night, but even if it do, it don't matter because I ain't going to be until they done. A few moments later. Good morning. So number one, I woke up late and missed the first event. Number two, my hair is wet. Yay! So yeah, I didn't want to give wig on Mother's Day, but it's given very much so that because even if I sit under the hooded dryer, the way this hair is still wet like this, it's... It, mm -hmm. Child, I would be looking real ridiculous by the end of the afternoon because it's gonna swell up. Cause uh, yeah. So um, uh, hmm. let me go in this closet of wigs that y'all say wig influences don't wear in real life, honey. I wear it's mine. Okay, and today is the day I'm grateful to have you. All right, so I put out two wigs that I feel like I really like the most. This one is a middle part, Morticia Adams type situation. You know, you just slip down. Um, but the thing is, I think I would be better off using this one which is a body wave and the reason i say that is because these twists kind of chunky and at least if it's a body wave it already got some volume and so it won't be looking like i'm like lumpy head and whatever so i think this is the one i really want that middle part like you can't go wrong with like jet black middle part slip down but i think we're gonna do this because i don't want me looking like i got some deformalities all right six and a half hours later hello there darling it has been an adventurous few hours since the last time i picked up the camera Number one, I really wish I had taken the time to go dress shopping because all the clothes in my closet are from my pre-pregnancy body. This is a post-pregnancy body and um, it was interesting, but you know, whatever, we got to go with what we go with now. The wig, the wig, it, it's on, but it's hanging on by a thread. So it's very much so, look from afar, don't get on top of my head because you're gonna see all type of just, just, just. Mm -hmm. I am actually on the way to church. So my mom and dad raised me in church. Um, and then when I was 19, I left. But I made my mama a promise that no matter what, on Mother's Day, I will always go to church with her. She told me I ain't have to, but you know, I ain't finna let her do that. You know, we, we got to roll together. So anyway, I'm on the way to her church. The time of service is 10.30. I am estimated to pull up at 10.45. Love that for me. Now, usually I run late for stuff and it's my fault. But in this case, if, it, if this wasn't my fault, you know who fault it was? The eight week old, honey, getting this little boy dressed. Honey, I'm not even gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. He dressed, I'm dressed, we gonna get there safely or whatever. So anyway, but let me tell you what did not go safely. My transportation to the car. Okay, so my husband this morning is doing some things with his mom. I'm being with my mom and we're all gonna get together this afternoon. But anyway, on my way to the car, I had my purse in one hand, the diaper bag on another arm, and then of course my baby in his car seat. Honey, I got on this dress that's just like real loose at the bottom. It's real cute and flouncy. And yeah, it's real cute until the wind blow. 
honey, whole tail, whole tail just sticking out. And it wasn't nothing I could do because it's like, I'm not gonna drop my purse and I'm definitely not gonna drop my baby. So, you know, y'all just gonna get these butt cheeks on today, huh? Hello there. So it's been a few hours, service is over, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. If I was to have the perfect Mother's Day, it would be me in the bedroom with the door closed, everybody else leave the house, I watch Netflix and eat a lot of high calorie foods, I take a nap, then I get up, I soak in the tub, then I come back and eat some high calorie foods, I go back to sleep, and then when I wake up, I do whatever I wanna do, eat some more high calorie foods and go back to sleep. You see what's going on here? I want to have some uninterrupted time to sleep. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love being a mother, love being a wife, love having my own family, but for one day, I want to just sleep. Have an uninterrupted day to sleep. But unfortunately, that is not happening today. So anyway, um, if you hear some noise in the background, that is the dryer. And that is because when we were in service, I was like, what is this I'm feeling on my leg? Honey, when I say my son let me have it, yeah, he soiled his clothes. So I came home and washed him because I was like, listen, I ain't even took no picture of you. Yeah, you putting this outfit back on. So anyway, we went to church. Now it's kind of like a little bit of downtime before our afternoon event, which is a dinner with my mom and family. So that's the time we're celebrating my mother. And then after that, me and DJ are supposed to do something. That might be changing. And that's because we got a call from his grandma asking us to bring the baby over to see her. And I absolutely love his grandmother, so we might be doing that. But anyway, I am getting ready to get this baby's clothes back on and I'm going to take his picture. Shout out to Cook With Me. She sent me a milestone blanket. We already had one and then my photographer sent me something too but at the same time i'm trying to use everything that was sent to me because i don't want nobody money to go into waste so thank you cook with me we got this little milestone blanket i'm not even going to show y'all me doing this photo shoot because when i did it for his first month i ain't even gonna lie to you he acted up he he acted a donkey and so earlier this week he turned two months and so i was just like yeah let me go ahead and do this picture it's a little late it ain't exactly on the day but whatever it's, who knows who's gonna know besides me and then the fact that i just told y'all but anyway i am not going to take that i'm actually going to put a picture of the results right here and let's move on with our day but let me heavily emphasize that i am sleeping <laughs> So we just left the restaurant and I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I want something sweet. What's up? So it is the next day. You can probably hear the air conditioning. I'm gonna tell you right now, get over it. Cause I ain't cut it out. It's hot. I am so freaking happy. This sun is probably messing up the video, but y'all just gonna get this. But anyway, y'all, I'm so freaking happy with how my night ended, which I did not take because I was sleeping. Okay, so my husband, uh, we were going to do some things with our mothers individually. Then we all came together and then at the end of the night he and i were going to do some things and we was just gonna leave the baby with either one of the grandmas and we was out um but what happened was okay so look he had planned a horse and carriage ride for me which i thought was such a beautiful idea and then he was going to take me bowling because i asked him to i was like look there are so many things in my life that we celebrate by involving food, which is cool. But y'all know I don't eat a lot in one sitting. So a lot of times we go to restaurants, everybody else just chopping the breeze, eating their little foods. And I'm just sitting there just like, eh, well, <laughs> good time. So anyway, I've been asking him to do non-food related activities with me. So I was like, I either want to go to Top Golf. I want to go bowling and it just so happened that we had this conversation last week where I was just like I really want to go bowling so he was like you want to do that mother's day and I said yeah but when it came time to go oh my god when it came time to go I was so exhausted because I didn't get much sleep the night before that I was like look if you want to do something that's gonna make my heart happy take your baby and leave me alone simple as that <laughs> and when I say that I don't mean to sound callous but I was just like listen if you want to do something for me let me go to sleep and so that's what he did he took the baby I pumped 10 ounces of milk my baby drinks five at a time so boom we perfect and so yeah that's how I spent my evening we went up did I make the wrong turn girl I did anyway before we were really interrupted um he took the baby for a few hours to just let me breathe and catch up on some rest and child I was knocked out and then I heard the baby cry and then here's the thing as much as I say I would like a break I would like a break I'm mommy first and when it comes to my baby I'm one of the mamas I ain't gonna let my baby cry for nothing so yeah I might be getting a break but if I hear eh, eh, a few too many times I'm coming and so what happens is my baby he loves it. is this this too bright hold on 
Now, where were we before the sun interrupted? Child, I need to get a better vlogging camera. I love, I love this little bitty camera because it's so discreet. But sometimes when it comes to uploading on YouTube, it's not the best quality. So I really want to give myself a camera. Child, I say all that to say, what was I talking about? The daddy. My baby love his daddy. But when it's time to go to sleep, like sleep, sleep. All he wanted is his mama because he liked to lay on these boobs, child. So I went ahead and got up, put my baby to bed, went right back to sleep. So that's how I spent my evening. And so my husband was just like, well, if that's the case, take this money and go. And so that's what we're doing. All right, so I just pulled up at Ulta. The goal is to see if I'm trying to get out this sun. This is why I need a new camera because all of this right here. But anyway, I have the goal of just getting me some toiletries. Like I told y'all before, sometimes the only me time I get during the day because I'm a stay-at-home mama is my time in the bathroom. And I know eventually the day will come. I won't even have the bathroom to myself because it's gonna be a crumb snatcher in there with me. But anyway, while I have the time to spoil and luxuriate myself in the bathroom while I can, I'm gonna take it. And so I want to go to Sephora, but I really don't like being away from my baby too long. And a Sephora is a little far from me. So we're gonna go in Alta. And if they don't have something to my standards, I am going to go to Sephora. So here's the thing. Um, so when it comes to my toiletries, I have two different stashes. It's one that I use every day. So say it's a body wash I use every day. It's like Dove. Right now I'm using Nivea. But then there's times when I just, you know, want to up the ante and feel like I'm doing something special for myself. And that's usually when I go to Sephora and get Necessary, which I absolutely love, but I messed up. And here's how. My husband, he don't care what type of soap he uses as long as his body is clean. Like, honey, the, the man will use St. Ives. He'll get a bar of ivory soap. He doesn't care. Um, but one day he ran out of bath soap, uh, some body wash. And he was like, let me get something. And I was like, oh, try this. Just getting all excited because I had just re-upped my supply of necessary. Honey, I let him use it. He liked it. And in comparison to saying, I have necessary, it's, it's, it's a lot more expensive. And so I'm just like, no, stick stick to that. Don't use my stuff. And so now when it comes to my luxury body wash, I'm out because he used it all. So I'm going in here hoping that I find something that I like that's given special as far as the vibes, that's given a smell that he don't want to put on his body. That's number one. And then number two, anything else I feel like throwing in the cart, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first things first, pattern transition mask. What is this? Is this new? Somebody tell me something like a, listen i'm tired of being a guinea pig somebody help me out what is this and here's the curl sea moss collection i told y'all i wanted to try it but i ended up buying the dude's new honey curl custard so i'm gonna try that first and then i'm gonna come back and get this but i definitely want to try it okay so i didn't came over here and i'm about to spend some money because of kyra so i saw her recently talk about the ways scalp and body scrub which is this product right here right hold on is this well it turns out they got a new one with a different scent so we're about to cop it and now that i'm looking they actually have a body cleanser that says melrose place and shout out to the 90s because y'all know that was a show but anyway i went on ultra site and i read the notes of the smell and i'm like yeah he won't touch that it's like champagne and rose and all this other stuff so yeah we're gonna get that too when did this happen so i ain't gotta go all the way to sephora no more child check me out a few moments later all right so we are back out of the store and let me tell you something the spirit of i deserve crept up on me something vicious do not ever let me go and alter a sephora unsupervised with some money that i just listen don't don't let me do it anyway let me show you what i got okay number one i got two different sets of press on nails so i got two of the shorter kinds because the shorter ones actually last the longer ones they are not sturdy enough and plus it's easier to change my baby diaper when i got short nails next i got another lip gloss um this is this is milky from nyx or nyx whatever you want to call it it is milk it pink i actually really really love this i talk about this all the time these are my favorite lip glosses which i need to use a little bit more because honey these must be dry and nasty next i got the way body cleanser this looks very promising because it's super thick in the bottle and that's the thing i do like necessary but it's a thinner consistency so i like a little thicky thickness um this is melrose place it didn't have a tester in there so i couldn't smell it but it does say it has jojoba seed and rose hip oils um it's a scent to help lift your mood which is hopefully something dj don't like because I don't need him using my stuff up, child. This is my experience. I wasn't expecting that. This smells like a perfume. Like, this, this smells really good. Like, this smells amazing. Like, this, this is definitely going to be my go-to when I want to feel like I'm doing something special for myself. You know, I love my Dove. I love my Nivea. But sometimes, you know, honey, mother deserves a certain type of treatment. And so, yeah, this is definitely my new go-to. This smells good. As long as when I use it, it has a really good lather, then this is the one. So, yeah. Even the directions, honey, it's like, get new. Period. 
And then I did get their new St. Bart scalp and body scrub. So as far as, oh, this smells really good. This smells like, first of all, it smells bomb. Secondly, I don't know why it immediately reminded me of um, like those bum bum creams or whatever that you can get at Sephora. It's reminded me of that and the consistency. It definitely is gritty because it is a scrub um, and I can feel it. It's got a little bit of an abrasiveness um, and a stickiness because of the sugar. But overall, I really think I'm going to love this. I can't wait to put this to use. Oh, and the instructions, baby. I think I love this brand because they're, listen, okay, directions. Close your eyes. Imagine your toes in the sand and a mini umbrella in your drink. Period. That's the type of vibes I'm on. Wait, hit me up. I think I'm y'all new favorite customer because, honey, y'all finna get all the money as long as these products is good. Now massage gently onto wet skin and scalp. Breathe in that vacay scent and rinse thoroughly from head to toe. I told y'all. I'm using these things for an experience. And so for their directions to be on board, honey, experience me. This is from Truly. It is Nice Melons Boob Serum. I didn't mean to get this. Hold on. Wait. Okay. No, I didn't want this. I'm going to go ahead and switch this out. I wanted the anti-cellulite serum and I accidentally bought the Nice Melons. Okay, so I grabbed the one I wanted. The thing wasn't working right when I scanned it. And so I went and picked up the same thing well it was the same color but clearly not the same product and this ain't what i want so it's gonna go back so anyway next this is um this was the one that caught me by surprise i used the test and i was like run ring it up honey ring it up and this is amazing grace from philosophy it's an anti-aging firming body emulsions now they do have lotions but this is an emulsion their lotions are like 22 dollars the emulsions are like 42 so if you want a little luxury experience with some body cream this is the one and so um i tried it in the store and it felt incredible and i was like yeah that that's it and so it's supposed to condition and help maintain moisture levels of dry skin which i do have and it leaves skin feel feeling velvety soft and delicately scented which is true when i tried it in the store that was absolutely my experience so hold on let me run in there because i definitely don't need no boob serum well maybe i do hold on what is it supposed to do for smooth hydrated and taut boobies honey my boobs is full of milk right now i can't honey let me get the one i wanted and the bag is secure well not really she didn't give me a bag she just put it in my hand but you know i get the point so anyway this is what we got so this is the truly anti-cellulite body serum is for resurfacing it's supposed to smooth and tighten it has orange flower retinol apricot vegan collagen and aloe boost or organic aloe boost it's supposed to be vegan clean high performing animal cruelty free but okay anyway so child um you just add this on your body to help reduce the look of cellulite and stretch marks i like that they said the look of it because i don't care what nobody tell you ain't a product on the market that you can apply that's in a serum form that you just rub on your body and it disappear all your cellulite that's just not gonna happen but if it can help me look a little bit more polished sometime then you know give it to me uh, and really i just got it for the experience i don't care nothing about that ain't nobody seeing none of that but dj and trust me honey he don't listen to me he don't care so anyway that is the end of my mother's day experience don't mind this i sprained something in my wrist and it's like it, it's really painful and then when i try to pick my baby up it really hurts so i need to go to the doctor and get that checked out but until then i got this on to just give me some support but that is the end of my mother's day vlog y'all i feel so incredibly blessed um just because of the outpouring of love and support from you all from my family my husband um but most importantly i feel so blessed to be a mom like seriously i can complain about not getting sleep i can complain that my boobs be hurting from all the pumping and all of that but the reality is i feel so incredibly fortunate to be in the mommy club like i've wanted it so long for years and to finally be blessed with such a magnificent baby like i just if i didn't get anything from anybody him being here was enough but my husband owed me honey because listen listen anywho it is time to go get my baby he is at home with my mama um because my husband was at work and i needed a little bit of me time and so yeah shout out to mama for always being willing to babysit her grandson shout out to her for that and then also to my mother-in-law trust me my baby is so blessed because yeah i love him my husband loves him but his grandparents all four of them child he ain't gonna never want for nothing so anyway this is getting on long enough i need to go i need to go ahead and remove this weed because i'm going back to the gym tomorrow and the last thing i'm trying to do is try to keep this on keep it from falling off from sweating all this other stuff it's trying to get my hair together so yeah i'll see y'all soon my daughter i love y'all and i'm out this piece bye and happy mother's day to all the mothers